Hello guys and welcome back to another video. I'm Glef and today I worked on a concept for the new class we should get in 2022. Either before Month of the Mad God or on Month of the Mad God. I would think the best time to release a character is around Month of the Mad God. Uh, but with the two classes released in 2021, we can't know if Deca chooses to release one, two or maybe three classes in 2022. But before I jump into the video, please check out my 4000 gold giveaway that will end in 4 days and it's the first link in the description. And to enter the giveaway just write your comment in that video, not this one, and you are entered and it will end in about 4 days. Then I will pick the winners and put up in my discord and on the community post. But let's jump into this interesting character that I've worked on and I think it's a very interesting character. So what is the class called? Well, this is the Retarius, which is an old gladiator warrior from ancient Rome. But this outfit does not look like it's from ancient Rome. No, this was once a soldier from the old kingdom of the Shatters, which now has been forgotten. And this soldier found the net and used it for its benefits along with his saber. After he studied the net and how to use it, he became a feared enemy for orcs and his allies. And then he called himself the Retarius and is known throughout the realm for his vile net. The hat looks like a bicorn which somewhat has its feather on top of it and a beautiful violet jacket made from the finest material known in the realm. Even Craig can't get hold of that fine silk. And that is the character description for this new class. But I need to talk about what the ability would do and what gear the class should use. These are the two net sprites I've done and these could either be tier 6 or tier 7 or any tier. And I think the top of it, the handle of the net would change. And then I've also created a first UT version. And I can say now that the sprites doesn't look that nice and I'm not good at making sprites. I thought of making better versions, but I don't know if I can produce that. So the net by itself would do some damage, not a lot, but some damage. And it would throw out into like a 3x3 three three area in front of the character. And it's much like the traps. And when an enemy steps on the spot, it gets weakened. And when the enemy steps on the spot, it gets weakened. Because now in the game, we only have one ability, I think, which can give weakened on enemies. And that's the Pharaoh's Requiem from uh, the Tomb of the Asians. And is for the Bard. And isn't used that much since there are better alternatives in the game for Bard loots. And introducing this class would make weakened be uh, very more efficient to put on to enemies. And since it only does a damage reduction of 10%, I don't think it's too broken, but it's a nice bonus. And with the large bullets in, let's say, Void or Orx 3, that does 200 damage, you get 180 damage on yourself instead. So 10% can uh, help you survive uh, harder dungeons. But it's not too broken and doesn't break the hardness of an endgame dungeon. And then for the UT version here, I've called it the Fisherman's Net or Poseidon's Net. And uh, I think Poseidon's Net could be a uh, event white uh, version, maybe for a new event quest in the realm, which is like a Poseidon, for example. And I would say that the ability would do days and weekend at the same time. Because we don't have a lot that does days in the game that's very easy to get out except the Quiver of Thunder. Then we have uh, the Brain of the Golem, uh, the Trickster ability that's a little bit hard to use. So seeing this Poseidon net in uh, the game would uh, make it easier to daze enemies and uh, inflict uh, weakened. Looking at the character, of course it would use a sword. Uh, I think we deserve more sword classes in the game and I do believe that the next uh, class we will get from Decca is a sword class. So this is why I've chosen it to be a sword class. Uh, the armor could be a robe with the violet robe I talked about before, but I do think that it deserves a heavy armor as well. And that's about it with that. And then stats wise, I think it should do more damage than a knight, but not more than a warrior. So maybe have the uh, attack on 60, then the dexterity at 50, defense at 30 or 35, 
uh, then the speed would be 55 or 60 I think we need to move away from 50 is the base speed because we need a little bit more speed in endgame dungeons so I think 60 would be really nice so with the 60 attack and then 75 65 vitality and then maybe a little bit more wisdom because I think the nets would take a lot of mana because like looking on the Retarius in real life throws the nets around and I think that requires a lot of strength so uh, maybe a mana average cost on the ability for like 100 or something because it is a very nice uh, ability to be able to do weak on enemies so I think it would be on the more uh, costly side of uh, an ability. And I think that sums up everything about this video. If you have any ideas, if you want to, you can criticize everything you want with this class. This is just a concept. What I would think we could get in 2022 now for the new class coming up. And I do think it's a sword class and I think it's a heavy armor as well. And uh, well, the ability is the only thing that I think will change. But this is just my idea to normalize or getting out weak abilities out there on enemies and getting it on a class would be really nice and having it on a melee class would allow you to do some real nice stuff I think. Then you could have UT abilities that could armor break maybe that's another event white idea or a new effect that's maybe entangled or netted or something. Uh, you could also apply paralyze on some abilities or slow and maybe give a combination of giving weak and paralyzed or maybe weak and slow and um, that would be very useful for solo play and in some specific specific dungeons even though a lot of enemies today are immune to those uh, effects it would still be nice with days or paralyze for this class. If you would like more class concepts you can just write a comment down below and I'll figure on it and maybe do a katana one or wand one which weapon do you want to see maybe another staff one because we only have three staff classes as we have with the melee classes so we could actually get a staff class now for the first class of 2022 i don't i think it's a sword but could be a staff class but write a comment if you want me to do more of these videos and like it if you liked it and uh, i'll see you guys in the next video that will be posted soon don't forget to subscribe to the channel as well, I think I said that. And don't forget to click the bell icon to get notified when I release videos. And PP video will be released this week, so stay tuned for that. And a possible top 10 video and of course a part of the Rotom G guide. So stay tuned for that and I'll see you later. Bye bye.